Man wins a book in Glasgow 2000, uh, 23-29. Let's story commence. I feel like I should sit up or something. Picture it. It's the future in Glasgow. The world is submerged. The ice caps have melted. And every cunt, every cunt has came to Glasgow. Now here's the thing. Glasgow's actually quite low down at kind of sea level with the Clyde and all the rest of it. That's went right up. But we've got hills and things like that. And anyway, because we've been so used to being next to at sea level, we have in shipbuilding. Because Glasgow was the, the centre of the world for shipbuilding, we know how to build floating fucking cities and stuff like that better than any cunt. Anyway, even though survival was the top priority, we still had time for recreation, fun, and education, and fiction, and comedy, and things like that, entertainment, and books. And there was a book festival. There was a book festival. There's normally the Edinburgh Book Festival, but Glasgow had successfully, finally, wiped Edinburgh off the map with a nuclear bomb. A new type of nuclear bomb that only does in the people that are there. No radiation. Bang. One and done. No fucking shite that goes on for 200 years. Gone. Flattened. Accelerated. Bang. Clean, green nuclear bomb. Um, it manages to, you know, date its thing and then see all the, you know, the radiation stuff. Uh, they've worked, they've worked to how to make the half life, uh, that whole thing, like after it's done, really, really speed up. So it, it goes away dead quick. Really, really clever, very clever, and invented in Glasgow. Yet another Scottish invention. Um. So Edinburgh was white, white too. Edinburgh is just a fucking hole in the ground, big fucking hole in the ground. Um, and that's it. That's what it is right now. That's what Edinburgh is right now. Big hole in the fucking ground. Did you see them? God save the king! Fuck off, man. What sort of fucking place is that, man? Um. So Glasgow had things, had the new thing, the Glasgow Book Festival. And you had all these people that used to stay in Edinburgh and they had come through to Glasgow. Uh, they were living in Glasgow now. And they were treated like shit. Not in any serious way, you know, you know, everybody was able to get jobs and, you know, everybody was able to get on with their lives. It's just... Every now and again had the piss taken at them. You know, something like, Oh, you were for Edinburgh, weren't you? Yous all thought yous were fucking better than us looking down your fucking noses, didn't you? Oh, uh, all of the big companies, they're all based through Edinburgh. Oh, all these, like, see, see whenever you get that, uh, uh, these fucking English, uh, nothing against English. English musicians or actors or anything like that when they're doing a wee tour. See when they come to Scotland, they go to Edinburgh, not Glasgow. For example, see Richard E. Grant. Richard E. Grant was going on a book tour. His Scottish date, maybe the only one. Edinburgh, no Glasgow. See all these sort of highbrow folk. They never stop in Glasgow, they go to fucking Edinburgh, because you know what? Because they're just like that, listen, but basically want to tour amongst the English people, and that's where that's what you get in Edinburgh. Scott Glasgow is full of Scots. They don't appreciate our very intelligent music. Apart the part apart from Lloyd Cole. Lloyd Cole, when he went his wee tour recently, his daft wee tour, he was at the Royal Concert Hall, but that's only because he lived in Glasgow for a bit. See if he didn't, 
he would be one of the main cunts to look right down his fucking nose in Glasgow. It's only because he lived there. That doesn't count. He doesn't count. Anyway. So he's folk for Edinburgh. Ah, look. Ha ha. You have to come through to Glasgow for things. We also had the Glasgow Fringe. You have to come through to us for the Fringe. You have to come to us for the book festival. And we also had our Glasgow Playhouse. You know, they've got the Edinburgh Playhouse and the Edinburgh... What else did they go through there? They've got Edinburgh... Um, there's a... There's a, a thing... No dungeon, there's a, a... Queen's Hall, there's something else. There's a venue. There's a venue they've got. Usher Hall, no. Festival Theatre. I'm sure there's something else. I'm sure there's something else. The Pleasance, maybe, is that it? No. Is it the play? Maybe it's the Playhouse, I'm thinking. No. Oh, no, the castle's gone. The castle got wiped out. It was actually dropped on top of the fucking castle. And all the big fucking rocks just went up. It's like a fucking grenade. The bomb dropped, and the castle basically turned into shrapnel. It was fucking amazing. It was so clever. So clever. Because, you see, what Glasgow has experienced in is years of gang warfare. Glasgow's been known for decades of gang warfare. So we're very, very... We know a lot about war. War. And uh, violence. Bodily harm. And stuff like that. And we've, But we're past it. Like the Vulcans. We used to be like that. And now we're starting to go like that, right. We can control this. But we make an exception for Edinburgh. Anyway, so I had the Edinburgh Book Festival in Glasgow. And Craig was there. Now here's the thing. Craig, his name, you wouldn't it. See, it's the C-R-A-I-G. It was like symbols. This is in the future, so like new letters and stuff like that that don't exist in, in any, any language right now. It's like, like squiggles and... You know, like, if you if you see, like, alien writing. Like, it's kind of like that. Like, kind of triangle sort of thing. It was all, it's all like that. The odd letter here and there, there's a B. There's an S. Something that looks like an S, but it's kind of on its side. Things like that. Um, but it's, it's all changed because it just... And that's another Glasgow thing. Another Glasgow invention. It really sped everything up. Sped thinking up. Craig was at this book festival and Craig was for Edinburgh because this is kind of recent, the, the, the bomb um, and Craig went to the book festival and the person came on stage and it was somebody called Lemme the Tenth Lemme the Tenth Lemme, Lemme X Lemme X, Lemme the Tenth got up and every fucking applause but people didn't applaud in the future they did this it was these kind of globes they had looked like kind of crystal balls but it was a kind of gas thing glowing gas they had kind of iron um, kind of iron um, vapour so you could kind of control it with magnets Matter what, so you could actually kind of hold it in a shape. It's people are really good at it. You know, people can blow smoke rings and things like that. It's kind of like that. And depending on what you do, you can kind of show your emotions and stuff like that. It's kind of connected to wee implants and black mirror stuff and all that. Anyway, he did that and he said, No, hello everybody. My name's Lemmy. Even though he's Lemmy the 10th, just went by Lemmy. And I'm here to introduce to you my new book. Futuristic wee stories. Big round of applause. Now, right at the beginning, at every book festival, every book event, I like to give away one of my books for free. And I'm just going to pick somebody random. And then he held up the book and went, This is dedicated to you! Pointed to a random person. It was Craig. 
And nobody, it wasn't like people like that. Oh, me? Oh, was it me? Is it me means? There's a pointer thing. There's a pointer kind of laser. Like that. And you could see it was almost like uh, fencing. There's actual, like, kind of like laser, you call it laser tag or whatever the fuck, I don't know. You know, that sort of thing. You went, oh, it was him. Laser Quest. And Craig got up. And he went, uh, let me build like that. How, well done, Craig. Well done, Craig. Um, where are you, Faye? Um, for Glasgow. I'm for Glasgow, eh? Hey. And somebody will be like, he's not, he's not, I know him, he's not for Glasgow, he's for Edinburgh. And let me be like, is that right, you cunt? And Craig went like, I'm for Edinburgh, eh? Hey. And um, uh, Craig went like, oh, you're alright. It's just a wee, everybody, it's just a wee joke, isn't it? It's just a wee joke. You see, the thing is, mate, um, you see other people out there, it's because you're in Edinburgh, for quite a while now, you think you're uh, like weird castle and you get like the bulk of the tourists and uh, you've got your kind of wee winding cobble streets and all that. You think you just have, you always thought you're kind of better than us. Whereas we were a city getting on with a city, building a city, building a city and working and building ships and things like that. Well, you were sitting through here looking down your fucking nose at us. It, we don't need to try. We've got a castle. And we've got some old fucking cobbled streets that are 300, fucking 500, or 1,000 years old or whatever. We don't need to try. When we were grafting away here, you were like the, was it the Eli, the, whatever the fuck it is, and we were like the fucking Morlocks. Looking down your fucking nose. I but I'm not, I, 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 I came for, I, I didn't come for that though, eh? You know, my background's kind of like what you'd see in train spotting, eh? I wasn't one of these fucking toffs, eh? I hate them, I know, eh? And Craig went like, fucking shut up. We've had enough of these that cunts fed, but aren't we? I'm only joking, mate. It's just a wee joke. There's your book. And Craig went, thanks. And Craig went to walk away. And, f uh, um, this Lemmy one fucking booted him right in the arse. He went right off the fucking stage. And Craig was about to hit the ground, but then Libby went up, levitated him. Everybody had uh, extra iron injected into them when they were young, so they could be controlled by magnets, you know, uh, like magneto type of thing. So, but it's only cunts for Edinburgh, uh, Glasgow that could do it. It was cunts, cunts for Edinburgh. Got all the iron put into them. It's like, can I, it's just a joke. It's fucking banter. Banter. It's a fucking joke. So we could just go like that now and again. Look, look down your nose at us here. I'll help you look down your nose at us. And we could go like that. And sort of like raise them up so they're looking down our nose, literally. Because I thought, thought you wanted to look down your, your nose at us. You're always looking down at Always looking down on us. Like that. Um. Let me go up and brought him back onto the stage and went, I'm sorry. Listen, everybody, into time we just fucking cut, be united. I don't think it was good what happened with the bomb. Anybody else? And everybody agreed. They just thought it went a, a bit too far. This Glasgow Edinburgh fucking stuff. It's a joke. It's just a joke. It, just, it got out of hand. It got out of hand. Next thing you know, we're dropping a fucking bomb. A nuke. Um, and Craig went like, can we get everybody for Edinburgh up on the stage? Can we do that? And they all, they, I'm not going to, I know, I'll be able to lift you up if I want, because of the iron fillings that are in, the kind of wee filings and shavings that are in the, the bloodstream. I could do it if I want, I'm asking you just to walk up. And they all came up. And because I went, I went to give you a free book. And they came up. And there was about 15 of them. About 300 in this place. Just a wee, just a wee thing. 15 of them got up. 
and and Craig went, I'm going to give you a book. I just want you to just say one thing. Just say this. This is all you need to say. Just say, Glasgow is better than Edinburgh. That's it. He went up with the mic. You say it. Glasgow's better than Edinburgh, eh? Okay, book for you. Sat down, that was it. They, that person lived happily ever after. That's all they had to do. Next one. What do you think? Glasgow's better than Edinburgh, eh? Right? One by one. I got to the last one. It was Craig. And this Lemmy X, Lemmy, you know, the 10th, went, and what about you? Finally. Finally. I've got to take your book off you if you don't say it, because you've already got the book, we've got to take it off you if you don't. On you go, say after me, Glasgow is better than Edinburgh. And Craig went like that. Glasgow's... Glasgow's... Say it. Glasgow's no better than Edinburgh, eh? And fucking... Let me went like that, you know what? Listen, round of applause. The fucking boys in this country. Boys in this country, come on. Fucking guts on this country. So, on you go, take a seat, go. And uh, Craig walked down back to his seat, but then this Lemmy, the tent, went like, <laughs> lifted him up. Yeah, bring him a bit of light. Like, Dropping the book. And he went like, fucking like, like Magneto. Yeah, any cunt could do this. And he went, every cunt, get involved. And all the, all the Glaswegians went like that. And they fucking pulled him apart, like, slowly. And this limited tent went like, stay, stay slowly, don't do it too quick. And it's like, it's fucking like that. Tone of fucking like that. Tone of fucking tone of fucking tone of fucking tone Right? Fucking hellraiser like No! Fucking pulled my apart, man. He was floating, seeing his pulled apart. He was floating about. I was doing like drones. Like a drone show. You know, you know how. Uh, you know, the dro I think it was the one in Japan who did a drone show. And it looks almost kind of like a hologram. You know, it's like kind of like. You know, it's like a 3D sort of thing made up of sort of. And somebody went like that. Oh, look, a hologram. And, and let me went like that. That's not a fucking hologram. That's not a hologram. The end. And that there. Thanks a lot, everybody. And that there. You might not believe this, but that's actually a true story. How do I know? I've foreseen it, I've foreseen it, I foresaw it. I have foreseen it in a dream. And can I just say, um, to anybody from Edinburgh, I have got nothing but the utmost respect and admiration for what people in Edinburgh have to put up with during the fringe of the year. The amount of people, just people coming in, dropping stuff everywhere, and they're going to fuck because they just visit and they're going to fuck off, don't care. It's just, it's hell what's happened to people uh, in Edinburgh through there. Um, um, I hope. Um, and, and, and that person shouting, one or two people booing, during the procession thing in Edinburgh. Uh, not a lot of people, but rather there than through here. Because see, if it came through here, it'd be a fucking riot. Because you get one half a fucking Glasgow draped in Union fucking jacks. The other half uh, uh, draped in the uh, tricolours. And, and, and then and every cunt would be covered in fucking red, covered in blood. Uh, there'd be blood everywhere. Blood. Um, so, it's probably best it was in Edinburgh. Because... Uh, 
there's a lot of, there's a lot of strong feelings here in Glasgow uh, about various things. A lot of strong, very passionate, uh, very passionate city here. Uh, 